Today is Marshall Silver Jubilee Day. So if you want to know how this amp responds to different guitars and setups and if you're curious about the Marshall Silver Jubilee tone, just keep on watching. Just a quick note, this review is 100% by myself. This is my amp, bought with my money, so has nothing to do with Marshall amplification. The Marshall Silver Jubilee was released in 1987 to celebrate 25 years of Marshall amplification and 50 years of Jim Marshall in the music business. Other than the classic look, black and gold, this amp got silver vinyl, chrome panel and a commemorative plate the Silver Jubilee was the first Marshall coming with the ability of switching from full power to half power, from 100 watts pentod to 50 watts triode. The engineering applied keeps the EL35 tubes working very hard but reducing some active components in order to keep the same flavor but in a lower volume. Personally, I don't think they sound exactly the same, but I know people who likes better the triode tone. After 1987, the Silver Jubilee became part of the JCM 800 range as a custom amp, dropping the original colors and adopting the classic black and gold. As the JCM 800 got replaced by the JCM 900, the Silver Jubilee was out of production, but it became a desirable collectible item. After a meeting between Jim Marshall and Slash in 1996, the first reissue of the Silver Jubilee was released under the Slash Signature model 2555SL. It was a limited edition and very fancy. Almost 20 years later, in 2015, Marshall finally brought back the Silver Jubilee under the range of classic reissues. Enough of history, let's talk about the features of this amp. 100 watts, switchable to 50 watts. In the preamp section, you're gonna find three tubes, ECC-A3. In the power section, you're gonna find four tubes, EL34. Effects loop is always on, and EQ-wise, it's gonna be very straightforward. Presence, bass, middle, treble. The output master is a push-pull where you can activate overdriven channel and clean channel. Then you have the lead master and the input gain is also a push pull where you can activate the rhythm and clip, what we are talking about later in this video. Now let's put some setups in this amp, change the guitars, make some noise and let's go for what we came for. So the signal chain is gonna be very straightforward. Guitar Amp Captor X Apollo Logic Pro, nothing fancy. And for me, there is no way to think about this amp and not thinking about a slash. This is the closest dialing I could get from his tone using only the guitar and the amp. I hope you enjoy it. This is the setup I call hair metal. Less meat, but more bass, more treble, and much more gain.
Now going more to the classic side, Telly, this is a ton. Now more to that American Texas vibe. This is the setup, this is the tone. Another name easily associated with this amp is John Frusciante. This is the settings I could get closest to his tone using only the guitar and the amp. Keeping in the clean channel but changing the settings and pulling the rhythm and clip, we get the scrunch and this is very much ACDC. To show the effects loop, I will be adding the Strymon Blue Sky to the effects loop and in front of the amp I will be using the MXR Univibe. <laughs>
I cannot live without checking if the Marshall Silver Jubilee is a good amp platform. And for this test, I'm using the Electro Harmonics Big Muff Pi. <laughs> If you're looking for a tone with a lot of personality, this amp is definitely something to consider. Robust, solid, and gets that Marshall tone. If you're looking for versatility, you may like better the Marshall DSL. It's much more versatile and cheaper. You may want to check my review on the Marshall DSL, picking one of the videos by the end of this review. And I think that's all I can say about the Marshall Silver Jubilee. If you made you here, your like is very much appreciated. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive, and kicking. See you.